more blade rod. We're going to multitask with it today. tide all afternoon and the ferries are back through here now so this should be a prime spot I turned the camera off oh I've dropped him whippy rod see turned the camera off and I got smashed so it's a flathead so I'll probably get another go at him oh that's good I had a stiffer rod in the car for plastics, but I really thought I was going for a blade bite with this run out tide. I just thought I'd start with the edges with the snag free stuff. He clunked it. Same deal, I hit the camera button off. And this little tailor grabbed it so it wasn't the fish that had it before. Just shows that they're not going to play with the camera. Oh well. Sharpest of hooks. And we were really whippy right. You have to set that hook. Go over there, it's one big fish. Give myself an hour. Should I turn this camera up again? Ah, oh, sick. Dropped him. Soft rod, see? It's alright. We can change a lot of things to make this work. That's why I keep about to turn the camera off and the cast is finished and then whack. Let's try somewhere else. Like move, move around the corner. Yep, got him that time. Yep. Hey, little flathead. They've been a soft rod, see it. They, they, what it is. The stiff of the rod, when they bite that rubber, they feel a little jar, so they take a second bite and move up the rubber. With the softer rod, they're just grabbing the rubber and swimming away, and then that hook's got to get set in. So basically, I just slammed him a bit harder. It was probably the same fish I've dropped um, two, three times. Anyway, bring him in, it's a good start. I do like my flathead. Come here, mate. Hey! Oh, well, there's your release. There he is. He's going to have to sneak all the way around. Is he stuck under that rock? And he's gone. Alright, that's a good sign. Taylor here, flat out here. drive this hook home. Tighten that drag up a touch. I don't feel that weight, I've just got to load it. Inky star. So that was the flooded though, I'll have to go look for another one. 
plenty more around here, I reckon. First mid-water channel bite. Oh, hey, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, did he pull it? Damn, that was a big one. Soft hook, see? Oh, uh, soft rod. Tell me, when I first got into soft plastics, I was dropping fish all the time. That was a solid platter, that. I was dropping them all the time. And then one day I picked up this rod I'd broken a couple of inches off the tip. And I was holding it under my arm and I was actually having a leak. And I felt a bite and I just went whack and it set the hook. And I learned like your best blade rod is your worst rod for soft plastics. And that was a classic example of that. I should have just sent that thing home. Big flathead. Yeah, well, might have to just stick around here and work these blades on him. Well, this stupid me's only got one or two blades on him. You know how it works. You only get one blade on, you're going to lose it first cast. I almost guarantee it. I haven't fished you for a long time, and I know all the back over there is pretty clean. Who knows? That's heavy drag, even that structure. Don't want to pull the hooks. It's the whole idea of a blade rod to be forgiving. I'm just covering that water quick now. Drop a few shakes and back with my retrieve. All right, we uh, I put the blade on and I couldn't get any joy with the blade, and I was missing all the hookups with the plastics. So I had a little trick up my sleeve with these um, with these stinger hooks that I use on the on the blades. Tiny little fella, but. Uh, I'll show you what it is. It's two small drop shot hooks. And because this rod, I couldn't get the second bite on the plastics, is they were grabbing and letting go. I was switched over to this little outfit or rig. And what happens is they look at it and they hook themselves. Now it was one bite for one fish. So even though I've got the blade rod and the blades aren't working, I've um, Got myself a little pattern here to go to. It's only a little fella, but little one big one, they're all gonna hook on this. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Don't don't do that. It's all you want, all your line tangled. I just want to make you wait. Right. As you can see, the hook's in his bottom jaw. But there's a second hook on this plastic, so it's all—it's very much like a an ice an ice fishing rig. So there's my. Oops. Ouch! Got me. All right. Let's unravel this. And just use the pliers to get it back into lock mode. You wait there, mate. And given what I have, two stinger hooks inside, the line goes right in, one bite, one fish. And he got one bite on me. Cheeky bug. Right, so, we got a soft blade right. Blades aren't the bite. We're down here, we're not catching anything with jig heads and worm hooks, which I've already tried. I've, I've hooked fish, but I keep missing them. So this little guy's come along, took one look at that little Z-Man I put on it. I was going to put another gulp on and I thought, oh, I had the Z-Man already on it. I'll just use it. That's my blood, not his. I'm thinking, for the one fish I landed, I've, I've hooked about, and they're all being flathead. I've hooked about five, and then I've put this different hook rig on. I've got one bite, one fish. 
And that's usually the case with this fruit. I find it absolutely deadly for that finicky bite. today with, uh, in this session was to make this rod work. Now I can go anywhere. Oh no, look, my guide's fallen out. Great. Good one, Aaron. You can tell I'm not a rod builder, can you? Could be the end of the video. I have to work on my um, rod building skills, I think. Well. <laughs> Bummer. I was looking forward to really hooking in with this, but I'm I'll have a play while I'm here with it, but uh, I'll have to glue that in again. I'm pretty rough. This was the rod that I had in my um, veggie garden for a tomato steak for a couple of years. When I broke my other rod, I rebuilt it. So I've tried uh, them, Jeep, and then. Here's a tip with this rig. It can be used for any rubber. You can actually even up to your, uh, you know, your six and twelve inch stick baits. You can make a rig up like this from, and it works the same. And because the pressure is on the ring in the middle, it's not turning the lure around. It's keeping the lure true and straight. Just get this up. Two sharp little do buggers. So yeah, he's that plastic just stays true, doesn't squash in, and it's just one deadly rig. And you can use it pretty well any plastic. I think the key is to have a really good pair of long nose pliers. It's just hard getting that first hook right around. But I've caught um, pretty well everything on the rigs on the plastics. Oh, what's going on? Oh, <laughs> yuck. Yuck. I have to cut all that off. You'll be right. Oh, so you gotta watch that. Make sure the line's down before it hits that. Shit off, I think. Got the scissors there. I just want to show you how good this hookup is. Just want one more bite. Don't care what it is. There's a bite, a little, little dribbler. Got him still. There you go, look how little tiny this is. This is. Yeah, now here's a rod. That's a herring. Because that's a good bait there. Here's a rod that couldn't catch a flathead with a mouth on it like a beer can. I was letting them go and look at that. That's all it took. One little herring. Have to reload him. You gotta keep pushing that hook back down. That's the key to having it set, set like an ice jig. The only reason I got the two ball sinkers on today is because um, 
it's muddy water and I just want a distance. Get that hooked down a bit. There it is. You know, she's rigged up again. It's exactly like an ice jig rig. Awesome. You know, it's not much of a fish capture video, but if you pick up on that tip that I'm trying to give you guys with the hook set, using these stinger hooks and the brand that I'm using is Van Fork. Um, they're the sharpest. They're just simply the best I've used anyway. And you remember all of this stuff that I tell you in my videos is only my opinion. It doesn't mean it's going to work for you. It doesn't mean that someone else's what doesn't work for me works for someone else. It's just my opinion. There's no rules in fishing. All we give you is the odd tip what works for us and um, it works for you, all good. But this little hook set, I think a lot of you will enjoy it. Especially with the Z-Man rubber that floats. As a surface lure, I just run this same Z-Man with no ball sinkers. Just rip it across the top and it is unbelievable. I'll pop a gulp on and show you how we rig these. Like, show you the same rig on this. Z-Man always goes in my pocket if I put it back in the... Um, tackle bag it'll have a meltdown I always go the longest string on the gulp just simple go straight in the top of the head and what I want to do is curl this hook around this is where the pliers come into hand forcing it far back as I can get it into the toe when that point starts to come out I'm going to grab that point you can feed it even further back if you want but what I try and get is both hooks in the plastic the hooks are in the plastic and same with the ring is in the plastic and that stops it from curling over by having the ring in there if you just tie them they just buckle in like that so there's the rig and it, it's uh it's saved my bacon on many occasions when I, when i'm getting finicky bites on good fish um, i've gone to that on so many different types of plastics and each time it's worked so it's just a tip, I hope you take it on with just that, uh, those thoughts, just a tip. If any of you give it a go and do all right, uh, let me know. I'll try one more spot. Ferry too. I've actually had about 10 casts at least. Another flathead. Oh, that's that rig, mate. I couldn't hook a fish today. I could not hook one. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Love the audience, mate. Right now, I couldn't hook a flatty today. Just ripped the gulp off, but you can see my hooks are still there. Ah, 
Oh, it's in the bag. That fairy stirred him up. Oh, pops are in there. No. That fairy stirred him up. One bite, one fish. another rubber, rubber back on it but that's the hook set there and it'll be quick with this fish that's the brand there you can't really get let you go buddy yeah. all those people watch you get caught mate nice make you feel stupid come on just one more time for you guys Once again, it's just a stinger hook that you would normally put on a on a blade, which they're very good for as well. Anyway, we're going to thread this through the top as far as we can take it, and we get our pliers. this we're ready to rock I'll see if I can get him up. Just stand back a sec. A lot. Oh, I'll go. Yeah, I go that way a bit. Cause these ones got sharp spikes on them. Oh, he fell. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. That was it. That was all I was trying to catch. See you guys. Have a good day. Talking to the camera with people around, but you could see on that last fish, bite fish. That's how good this little hook set is. Honestly, I probably would have landed two fish for the day instead of a uh, five flathead and a herring and a tailor. So there you go. Now, flathead have a big mouth, so it was, an ex it was a good example of where I could feel I was hooking up fish but not landing them. They were letting go of that rubber. They needed to get that stiffer rod would have given that second grip and I didn't have that so we changed that rig and it just changed our little session over awesome